Hello friends, this is Dr. Sudhan Sharma from School of Computer Information Sciences and today we will be discussing about the first session of formulas and functions and this will be an introductory session and in this session we will be learning about basic concepts of formulas and functions and we will be comparing that what is the difference in between formula and function. Apart from this we will be discussing about some of the important points and let us start the session. The objectives of today's sessions are related to that understanding of the basic formulas available in Excel and uh, later on in this session you will be understanding about the basic functions available in MS Excel and uh, uh, how to construct and insert the formulas. You will be learning about the various kind of functions available in MS Excel. We are focusing on MS Excel however there are different type of spreadsheet softwares available and uh, be it proprietary or open source. But since the course uh, is uh, exp has experimented the concepts on MS Excel, we will be exploring MS Excel only. So uh, what is the fundamental difference in between functions and formula? Actually for any spreadsheet software, the functions and formulas are in fact the bread and butter of that software. And uh, there are uh, various formulas and functions available in MS Excel to cater various type of problems be it related to the financial problem or fun or logical or statistical or mathematical or be it related to date and time and different type of categories uh, or categories of problems are there. We will be catering uh, all these type of uh, problems or uh, functional areas with the help of different functions and formulas. So uh, what is the fundamental difference in between formula and a function? Formula is something an expression, a, an expression which you can construct on your own with the help of the operators by defining your own conditions and these conditions and operators can be applied over a cell or a range of cells. But what are functions? The functions are in fact the predefined calculations in any spreadsheet application. Likewise, uh, you customize uh, some function. Uh, you can design your own functions also and uh, use the functions in the formula also to customize your spreadsheet. So uh, formula is something that the, uh, the creator has a hold but function is something that which is already predefined in the spreadsheet. To better understand this, uh, let us see this if we want to add 3 numbers in the cell A1, A2, A3. I hope you are already familiar with the type of addressing we are already discussed uh, absolute addressing and relative addressing in our past sessions and uh, we are uh, directly coming into the different type of addressing modes over here. Likewise in a formula say we want to embed an equation where we need to add 3 uh, cell references that is A1, A2 and A3. So if we want to draft a formula, it will be in the format that A1 plus A2 plus A3. But mind it that every function or, or formula should start with equal to. If we did not start the function or formula with equal to, it will be literally taken as a text. So the first and the foremost important thing is to address any formula or to type any formula. You select a cell, mark equal to and then select the respective ranges. Likewise over here in this example to add 3 uh, uh, cell references A1, A2, A3 we selected uh, C1 and uh, place the for, uh, formula equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 and in A1 and A2 A plus and A3 the number which are available are 1, 3 and 5. The moment we press enter the uh, result is reflected at the position C1 which is 9. Now same thing can be addressed with the help of the function. The function to add the numbers is in fact sum. We can uh, write the function again at the same situation, same location that is C1 by pressing equal to and then writing sum in the parenthesis A1 colon A3. That means we are addressing the cell reference range from A1 to A3 and when we press the enter the sum of the numbers present in the range A1 to A3 will be reflected in the cell reference C1 that is in fact 9. So sum is predefined that means we program a function uh, named sum where the argument passed are a1 to a3 and uh, these arguments are being referred uh, to uh, make the sum of the values available in the cells a1 to a3. Now uh, subsequently uh, if we are constructing a formula we need to take care of some of the things likewise that as I told you that first and foremost you are supposed to put an equal to sign. 
if an equal to sign is not placed over there the uh, content will be taken in the text format or will be literally considered only now uh, over here uh, say uh, uh, as i already said say i want to add two numbers uh, in the uh, cell reference b1 and c1 and i want to reflect the result in uh, a1 then automatically i can put it in two terms that means at a1 i i can select the cell a1 put equal to over there and then put the formula uh, a b1 plus c1 or i can put uh, equal to sum b1 colon c1 and this will give me the answer as it is discussed earlier now uh, if i want to edit a formula i say i uh, wrongly typed a formula in some cell and i want later on i realize that there is something wrong with that and i want to edit it then what is the mechanism in order to do this you can directly select a cell uh, press f2 and you can edit the formula that means select a cell press f2 and uh, uh, edit the formula and then directly put an enter or you can uh, select the cell go to the formula bar as it is reflected uh, by a yellow arrow in this formula bar you can edit the formula and then press enter and the corrected version will be reflected uh, in the uh, respective cell no matter uh, which option you use but you are supposed to press enter to confirm the changes when it is done and if you want to cancel or leave the formula unchanged click the escape key that means uh, if you want uh, that okay this is uh, not correct then just simply press escape and you will be out of that part so this is uh, something important related to the entering that is insertion of the formula and the editing of the formulas now uh, there are some important points that all formulas in fact return a result now what is an excel excel is an application software that means it is a software which is written in some programming language and the programming language in which it is written is visual basic so vba actually visual basic assistant is uh, is uh, uh, one of the mechanisms which runs at the background and which is being uh, used uh, to develop different type of formulas uh, you can develop your own formulas by going into the developer tab or you can simply press alt f11 to uh, draft your own formulas but this is out of the scope of this part so uh, all the formulas are in fact uh, returning something and uh, likewise if some error has gone uh, then they also report the error also over here uh, you can see that uh, there is a spreadsheet where uh, the results of march and april are uh, mentioned so far as the third row is concerned the results of march are absent and we want to monitor the percent change in the results of march and april so because in the third row the uh, the content of march is absent as a result of which the formula which is incorporated at cell d4 that is equal to c4 minus b4 divided by b4 will give you divide by 0 error because the value in the march section of march row of uh, uh, march column and row 4 is absent as a result of which the division uh, by 0 error is reflected over here so that means you need to understand that formulas reflect uh, and returns some values and uh, these return values are being reported in the respective cells subsequently we need to understand the copy and paste formula mechanism that means if we copy a formula from some cell and uh, uh, directly paste it into other cell then automatically the references are being taken care likewise a spreadsheet is shown over here where three rows are uh, mentioned under the uh, uh, column a which is related to red blue and green and the respective values are mentioned in column b c and d in column e we are taking care of some formula and uh, applying that formula we are getting some result now if we copy this formula from e1 to e2 then automatically the results uh, the values from b2 c2 and d2 are taken care that means automatically the referencing is changed and this is already 
taken care when you learned about the cell referencing mechanism where you learned about the relative addressing and the absolute addressing. So, I hope you understand that copy and paste formula mechanism is also important and apart from this uh, there are uh, different operators which are being used to design a formula. And uh, these operators are having some sequence in which they are being evaluated to get the final result. The order of the operations is that firstly the parentheses are being evaluated, then exponents are being taken care, subsequently the multiplication and division operations are uh, solved, further uh, thereafter addition and subtraction is taken care and lastly uh, concatenation and logical op operators are performed. So, in order to solve any formula we are supposed to follow a sequence and this sequence there is referred as order of operations where first comes parentheses, then exponent, then multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, subsequently concatenation and logical operators. And in this way you can design any formula or you can solve any problem of uh, in Excel. Uh, the sequence which is followed is uh, this only. Now there is a separate class of formula which is called array formula. Say you are having two columns and uh, say B1 and C1. And uh, you want to multiply each component of uh, B1 into C1, then uh, if you uh, and um, uh, get the results in say D1. So to select the cell D1, and you will type equal to B1 into C1, then you can copy the formula. Say thousand of the entries are there, then it is very difficult to type it again and again. You can copy and paste the formula. That is one of the way, but the better mechanism is to use the array formulas. Array formulas are also referred as control shift and enter formulas. These are the formulas which are uh, used in general uh, to perform a particular operation on an array. The array could be a one dimensional that is a column or a row or it could be two dimensional that, can, that means it can involve both row and columns altogether. To understand this say we are having an excel sheet which is uh, reflecting the quantity and price of uh, different uh, software uh, or computer components uh, or the accessories may it be say laptop, desktop or smartphones or uh, earphones and different components which are being used in uh, as mobile gadgets and they are having different prices and quantities. Now you want to calculate the amount that means you want to multiply the quantity and the price altogether. So, one of the mechanism is that uh, say uh, in column B uh, we are having the quantity and column C we are having the price for uh, laptop, desktop, smartphones and uh, earphones and headphones and, uh, and other things. Now uh, one mechanism is that uh, in cell D2 you type equal to B2 colon B8 into C2 colon C8. This will not work in fact unless and until you transform this expression into array formula. To transform this expression into array formula is supposed to select the cells from D2 to D8 and uh, type equal to B2 colon B8 into C2 colon C8 and then shift control shift and enter is to be pressed altogether. And when the moment you uh, press control shift and enter the formula get transformed into an array formula that means you will find an automatically curly braces appears uh, at the ends of the formula and the, uh, the results are reflected in the respective column. So that means that uh, each, uh, uh, each cell uh, in column D will be having the values. Uh, respectively that is B2 into C2, B3 into C3 and up accordingly up to B8 into C8 and respective results are being for, are reflected. So that means the values uh, in column B and values in column C of the Excel sheet are multiplied uh, one by one respectively and the results are reflected in column D. Now we are having the concept of the functions. Now functions are in fact we already know that they are the pre-structured or predefined formulas. They are customized 
uh, already customized and you can use them by simply typing equal to the moment you type equal to and uh, you type the name of the function it got activated and the syntax of function is in fact function name in the parentheses you are supposed to pass the arguments and the arguments are dependent upon the type of function you are dealing with. Likewise, we had already discussed that in case of sum, you are simply typing equal to sum and in the parenthesis the numbers are to be passed and the automatically the sum of all those numbers is reflected. But there might be a situation when you want to count something and you want to count on the basis of some condition. Likewise, in, uh, in a row, say there are some uh, colors reflected, likewise uh, red, green, blue, red, red, red and you want to know that how many times red is repeated in a column, then you may be using the formula count if. So at that point of time, you will be using the formula in the, center, in the format equal to count if and select the range that is uh, the range of cells in which you want to search for and then uh, press comma and you can pass on the parameter and you will find that how many times the things is repeated or the things are counted. So let us see uh, this is a count if example we are having a column A uh, in which red blue green red blue is mentioned uh, at cell reference A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 and I want to know that how many times red has appeared. So, I selected uh, say uh, column C or cell C1 and type down the formula equal to count if A1 colon A5 that is I selected the range from A1 to A5 and in that range I want to hunt for the name red. So, in the quotes I passed on the criteria that is red and automatically the answer 2 is returned and it is already discussed that functions are uh, formulas returns the value. So, uh, this is the function which counts the red appear two times and as a result of which the result 2 is reflected at position C1. So, output of any formula or function can be fed directly to another formula or function. That means, if you want to reuse this uh, the result, we can automatically uh, use these formulas or functions into some other formula or function and we can design or customize the formulas accordingly as per the requirement of our application. We will be understanding these concepts later on. Now, there are different mechanisms uh, in which uh, we can uh, directly insert the functions. One of the mechanisms is shown over here that uh, you select the cell and when the, mo the moment you start typing the function is see uh, uh, different class of functions, different type of functions are being uh, reflected into the cell as shown in the slide and uh, you can select the function which is uh, uh, in your need and uh, you can press the tab and accordingly that function will be activated and you can pass on the parameters as desired by the functions. Uh, so, over here again the count if uh, mechanism is reflected over here. The moment I typed equal to count if a series of uh, functions are uh, activated, I selected count if and then I passed on the parameters that is the range of uh, uh, cells and the parameter. Uh, that is the condition which I am hunting for and accordingly the result is reflected. Subsequently, uh, uh, we can also uh, explore the functions and the formulas by going on to the formula tab and the, uh, you can explore that there are variety of functions and formulas mentioned over there. Uh, you can explore the mathematical and trigonometrical functions, statistical functions, financial functions, logical functions and there are more functions and uh, you can directly go to the formula tab onto the menu ribbon and uh, from that you can choose uh, the different category and uh, you can uh, select the formula under that category. Apart from this, you can also go into the insert function part. The moment you click the insert function, uh, a series of functions appear and you can select the respective function category and uh, then you can apply the same. So, I hope uh, you were able to understand what are the concepts of functions and uh, formulas and uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.